<laughs> oh wait, it's my turn to say the intro. <laughs> yes, it's the even. Uh, <laughs> okay, so hello guys, welcome to another episode of SpongeBob: Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. That's why I don't the like revenge. to say it. <laughs> Did you say Revenge of the Flying Dumbass? <laughs> no, it's a Dumbin. Dumbin. It's like the Fear not, my little friend. SpongeBob. Remember what the, the weird thing is about this game is that uh, you have found near the end, the end of this game, we got to go back to Chum World just to get one final piece, and then we go to the final boss or the final area. It just it's structured like that. It's weird. See, Why do we have to wait to the last minute to get this one piece from a level like ages ago? I know, right? Hey, go easy on me. I'm not the ghost I used to be, but who is? Ghost SpongeBob, ghost self. But do not be overconfident. What the fuck? You must still find the remaining treasures if you're going to break the Dutchman's spell over your friends. You'll never find all my treasures. It's like ages to finish fucking. I know, right? You know, it's, you know what stinks about this game the more you think about it? Why? Even though this game is complete shit, just because of the fact that it has Spongebob on it, this game probably sold, like, at least half a million copies. I know, right? <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of people still have it. Yeah, and here's the thing, like, it's weird. This game came out back when Spongebob was still good. Like, during, like, season three, and before the show got bad and Steven Hillingbird left. I see. It's weird. Yeah. Just that whole like trying to market a game. I bet this game was made under like time major time constraints, so I can't give them too much shit for making a bad game. I see, yeah. And they ended up switching to Heavy Iron Studios, which I think Heavy Iron also worked on I think Gears of War. And they made Balfour Key Bottom. I see. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Look up Heavy Iron Studio. See what else they made. And we gotta chase Plankton for this last piece and then we're going to the, the final oh, no. one. He looks so weird. He doesn't know why like It's like Alex when he punches Christopher Lowe in the face. <laughs> we have to watch his latest video. I have not watched it yet. Oh, Uncharted? Yeah. I want to watch Uncharted his too. whole Uncharted series. I see. Here's what um, Heavy, Mo Heavy Iron Studios made. They made Disney Infinity series, Epic Mickey 2... Uh, three of the Spongebob games, um, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, which I hear is a really good game. We should play that. Yeah. I love Scooby-Doo. We should watch Scooby-Doo too, too. That's true. Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. They made a lot of the... They made a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Ratatouille, Incredible, Wally, and Up video games. Family Guy game. A game called Fat City. Um, Fat City? I want to look at that one. Uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth, <gasps> which is a really good game. Oh my god, we have to play Stick of Truth. I think I have it on Steam. Oh my god, that's the game where, like, when they hate Cartman, asks for your name. Like, you type in, and then he's like, whatever name you pick, he's like, did you mean douchebag? And you're like, no, I meant that. And he's like, you totally meant douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, South Park used to be so good. Now it's like, meh. How about I play, uh... I stick play a stick of truth and, and like instead of doing voiceover we we talk as I play. Because the game's not that long. I see. Promise you'll finish it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you. Come on. It's a monkey game. I have no idea. The crowd just went, ew. <laughs> Yeah, Heavy Iron Studios. I thought they made Gears of War as well, but I got that confused. I just remember that they also developed one major series. <clears throat> Begging your pardon, oh, you Captain, say, yeah, but we've located the little yeah. varmint who's been Corporal giving you all South this Harvey. trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't make the game themselves. They co-developed it with another studio. Who's, who's the other studio? Over the side. Uh, you don't stand a chance. This is an important cutscene, and we're just ignoring it because we look at Heavy Iron Studios. <laughs> Leave the house without getting squashed. Squashed like the 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 vegetable. 
Yes. Well, that's what it, it said. It said squash, not squished, or... They did it with Obsidian Entertainment. Obsidian uh, Entertainment. Oh, I see. I have never heard of that one either. Look they there. made one of those cannons <laughs> survived the fall a... from the Dutch Star Wars ship. Knights of the Old Republic. He may have given you um, the very thing Fallout you New need Vegas. To find your friends. Okay. Now that's what I call a special delivery. Pillars of Eternity. Never heard of that one. T Tyranny. Uh, armored warfare. Nope. Dungeon Siege Three. I think I've heard of that one. And then that's most of it. And we're going to the final area. We just shot out of a cannon to get there. So. Gary. Patrick. Sandy. Well, I tried, but it looks like no one's here. Might as well go home. Brace up, little fellow. Your friends are counting on you now more Brace than up, ever. Only you can <laughs> save them from the counting revenge of the Flying Dutchman. You're right. I've come too far to let them down now. What the fuck was his eyes? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what? This... It's just every time he does a facial expression, his eyes move in different directions. I cannot get over that. Wow. Nice. Uh. Ooh, frosty. Mm. God. <laughs> oh, by the way, the the booty joke's coming up. By the way. No. The booty joke. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. It's like, give me that booty. I want all the booty, and then SpongeBob is like, you want a booty, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is actually, uh, this is one of the two levels in the game where the costume you have doesn't have an impact on the music. So, thank god. Mm. But is, this, is the music in the level good? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just like the typical, like, any, like, stereotypical pirate music. I see. It's like if you ever were in school and they showed you like an educational video on like pirates be like an animation or a cartoon or like a biblical thing, they would like just play the music, like stereotypical music for pirates and shit for history. Here he comes. Here's the booty. there? Be you here to steal my booty? Oh, believe me, I have no interest in touching your booty. I just want to find my friends and get them home. You must mean I have no interest in touching your booty. The Dutchman's got all them fancy britches on his ship while we're stuck out here in the graveyard. Okay. Wow, that doesn't sound very fair to me. I read it wrong. To make matters worse, someone grabbed my booty while I was polishing this cannon. So now, I'm stuck out here with no pay! I wish I could do something Prostitute to help jokes. you, Mr. Pirate, no. but I need to find well. a way to get past that other ship if I'm ever gonna no, get no. my friends out of here! I'll tell you what! You bring me one, bring sack, me of one booty, sack of booty, and I'll see what I can do to help you get across! Ball sack of booty. No. But, I shouldn't have just said that after he was talking about booty, but... <laughs> Well, how many sacks of booty you have to get him? I think like, I don't know, who cares? <laughs> wow. But uh, I think it's like, no, it's like um, you see him like three or four times in this level and you have to do a, just give him one. So this is the booty. Bring back the booty! <laughs> but uh, I was gonna say before the cutscene started uh, that um, you ever remember, like, when you were in school? Like, when I went to Christian school for a little bit? Ca no, Catholic school, they showed, like, these animations, or, like, the Bible channel, they showed, like, these Christian cartoons of you telling the Bible stuff. Yeah. A lot of them, like, had kind of, like, Disney rejects now that animating them. Is one yes. Booty sack. The animation was sort of good, First, but, like, the message was, like, the shitty as fuck. Then, aim yourself. Mm -hmm. when you the writing. Ready, Press the action yeah. button to fire yourself out of the cannon. Gotta go inside the cannon. Can I stick you in a cannon and shoot you out? Oh my god. Why? 
Because it'd be fun. What to shoot yourself at? Uh, shoot yourself to this area in the pirate ship that you gotta go through to get to the next area. Because this place is really freaking confusing. I remember I actually spent, like, I think 20 plus minutes at some point in this recording just to, like, know where to go because everything looks the same bland, oh, greenish, right red color. Aren't you the one who's been digging around in my booty? Oh, do digging you mean the booty my booty in the crack of the ship? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. In the that. crack of the it ship? Was probably the Dutchman yeah. again. His booty is bigger than my anyone's. But he still comes anyone's. out here to get his hands on his <laughs> He just can't get enough booty. Will you let me use your cannon if I bring you some fresh booty? I'll bring you sure. Some fresh if you can make it across that inferno to the next ship. SpongeBob, the ass I think sorcerer. I saw some just kind of yes. sitting around over there. If you catch my drift. Anyway, that is enough booty jokes for today. <laughs> I know, right? I was like thinking what to say after so many bad jokes about booty. Yes. But, um, god dang it! What? I keep saying but after we hear a bunch of booty. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's stuck in your head. You cannot think I about that curry. Your ass is too big, so I can't think of anything else. <laughs> wow. Well, I broke my But. Pants. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and the camera just glitched out like that for some weird reason. Um, Turn it around? Or. It, I, I tried fixing it. Like, the game has a bad camera. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Get the points! Gather all the coins! Why are there freaking jellyfish in this area? Uh, because this, because, uh, SpongeBob. This game. Yes. You know, if you get stung by a jellyfish, you know what the best remedy is? What? You gotta pee on it. What? You didn't know that? If you ever get stung by a jellyfish, if someone pees on it, then it like it actually heals the sting. What the fuck? That's really? real. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up later. It's real. Have you ever gotten stung by a jellyfish? No, I have not. Actually, that was kind of one of the reasons why I didn't like going to the beach that much growing up, because I was scared I was gonna get stung. I see. I wouldn't I give a I would fuck. Die. I would just get into the water and be like, fuck them. I'll, I'll get into the water anyway. I don't know if you were like this as a kid as well, but I always thought that, like, I would always be very cautious about getting hurt because I thought that, like, if I got, like, the slightest scratch or if I got stung by a bee or stung by a jellyfish, I thought I would die. <laughs> wow. I, I wasn't that cautious. Oh, uh, gosh. That's you know what I did that one time? So big, I could what? barely get my I was at school. All that booty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No go. I was go at ahead, school and, and there was a bee. Use my cannon whenever um, you want. I'm going to hide this. There was the a bee Dutchman bothering me. Never find it. So uh, to this day, I still don't know how I did it, but I just just moved my hand. I grabbed the bee and I threw it to the floor. Did you get stung? <laughs> no. It felt weird holding it like that. Yes, her. it did. I just grabbed it and threw it to the floor, and I was like, <laughs> with my classmates, and they were like, like, I think I think we were three, and us three we were looking at the bee dead on the floor, and we were like, the fuck did I do that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Cramchy is the bee whisperer. <laughs> I just grabbed the freaking bee and killed it and threw it on the floor. <laughs> No, you know the movie The Ant Bully? Yeah. They're gonna have a sequel called The Bee Bully, starring Cramchy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Oh, I also no. think, like, like bees don't want to sting you. They try to avoid you as much as you can. Yeah. Plus, like, if a bee stings you, that's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we'll keep telling bee stories next episode. Bee butts. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, see you guys next time. Next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.